I'm finally here with a writing update. <laughs> it's been a while, but I'm finally doing it. What's up friends? Welcome back to another video. I finally have my writing update. Better late than never, but it's finally here. I've been procrastinating it a lot just because I haven't been in the writing mood. And I said that would happen in my first writing update. I was like, oh, I hope that doesn't happen. Jinxed it. And here we are. Let's just get into it. If you have not seen my writing update from the beginning of the year, let's have a little recap. I am writing a high school musical retelling with a trans main character. This is my second work in progress. I have finished my first draft of my hockey book. That was the first book I ever wrote. I wrote it for NaNoWriMo of 2019, I believe. I haven't touched it, but I'll talk about some of my NaNoWriMo plans for July in this video. So give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't, if you want to see more of my writing content. I'm trying to hit 3000 subscribers by the end of the year. So hit subscribe and let's get to the video. I'm gonna talk about where I am with my high school musical retelling. I haven't really, I've touched it, I've dabbled in it, but I am a pantser and I have some of an outline, but I just can't do it. I can't do an outline. I can do a little outline and then that's it. And I'm just changing my mind so much on my theater production. So here is like a rundown of what my work in progress is. It is about a trans boy named Jonah and his house catches fire and he is forced to move from New York to Pennsylvania with his family. He has to start over for the last semester of his senior year of high school. And the plot is really changing because I am taking some aspects of High School Musical. It's kind of like a gender bent High School Musical where Jonah is my Gabriella. He is a math geek. And then we have my love interest, who is our Troy. So I really enjoyed that. She's always late to everything and I love their chemistry a lot. I'm not gonna reveal her name just because I don't want anyone stealing my ideas. That's my own anxiety, but I just don't want that. And then we need to have the production. So if we all know the story of High School Musical, we have Troy, who is the jock. We have Gabriella, who is like the nerd. She's just come to school. They meet on New Year's Eve, they sing together, and then they never see each other again. Even though they have each other's number, they never talk. And I don't get that. Um, so then Troy like calls her in drama class and, oh my God, I can't believe that she's there and all of that stuff. As I am doing more research and watching the movie over and over, the story begins to make really no sense. Um, so my story is going to make more sense than the actual host musical does. <laughs> Um, but we know the classic rundown of Troy and Gabriella, the jock and the nerd, and then they audition for the musical. Musical! So that is what I am basing mine off of. I've added some musical elements to this story where we have my female protagonist who is the lead vocalist for her band that she's in with her friends. It's a pop punk band and I really enjoy it. So I am writing a dual perspective, which I've never done. I write in third person and it is daunting to write a dual perspective just because I need to have a certain amount of scenes and a certain amount of scenes with both characters and it is so difficult because one I write out of order and I'm a pantser so it's like a hot mess in my document right now but I'm having fun with it. I have 45,000 words. When we last saw each other. I think it was 35,000 I had so I've only written like 15,000 which is fine because then I had another idea <laughs> because classic me I had another idea and now I have another idea and I'm outlining another idea but I am focusing on my high school musical retelling. I just have another outline that I'm fixing because my mind does not shut off. My mind does not shut off and I have so many ideas and I hate it because I just want to stick to my two work in progresses. But my mind is like, hey, Alex, what if we do this? What if we do this? And I'm like, stop, please stop. <laughs> but that's fun. Like, because then once I'm finished both of these, then I have 
time to focus on my other ideas, which is fun because if I just write it all down, then I won't forget. I'm a very forgetful person. So it helps me to get everything down and then I can move on from it until I have time to actually focus on it. I have changed my high school musical retelling around so much. I have one of my best friends from high school. She is getting her PhD in theater and so she's like my rock right now and I am getting a lot of information from her and she is the reason I know all of my knowledge about theater. I was not a theater kid until I met her in high school and she is helping me so much with this and I have changed the theater production four times. So initially when we first talked I was going to do where they perform High School Musical and I got a comment saying oh that might be too much like the TV show 100% correct and so I was like okay let's brainstorm again and I talked to my friend and she gave me some really good advice and then I was like okay let's do Hello Dolly because that is something I can relate to when I was in high school we had a production of Hello Dolly and there was a senior who has never done theater before and he got the lead role. And then I realized it was Bye Bye Birdie. So I was like, okay, cool, let's do that. And then I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. And so now I'm probably gonna do Guys and Dolls. And so now I am watching a lot of that and taking notes for it. This is really just a learning experience for me as I didn't go to school for writing and it's mainly like a fun thing that I do at the moment and would like to get my stories published because we deserve to have more trans stories and I just need to outline things and not have the problem where I'm just gonna have these drafts sitting and then I'm intimidated to go back to them. So that's where my high school musical retelling is at the moment and I just need to carry on with it. I have done like writing during the day sometimes like if I have an idea I'll just go. Um, so I've been having some good days where I write like 2,000 words and then other days where I write like 200 words which is totally fine because I just need to balance everything in my life. I'm doing Patreon, I'm doing videos for this channel, I'm reading, and I'm playing The Sims and I am doing a lot of things. At the end of the day, it's a hobby for me. And if I can write like a hundred words one day, that is totally fine with me. And I know that this story will keep going. I am going to work on editing Breaking the Ice in July for Camp NaNoWriMo. My goal in June is to try and read Save the Cat. Let me go and get it really quick. I bought Save the Cat Writes a Novel last year and never touched it and my goal for this year was to read it. So in June before Camp NaNoWriMo in July I'm going to read this and Jessica Brody is coming out with a young adult version which I'm really excited about. It comes out, does it come out this year? No I think it comes out in a couple years. I'll have to double check on that. I am excited. I've heard this is a really good source. Aiden Thomas talked about this in a live stream where he said that this is such a good resource. So I'm going to take the time to read it during my chaotic month of June and I'm very excited. So we'll see what happens. I'm excited to see what's in it. I don't know too much about it except that everyone praises it and I'm hoping it's going to help me. I've been watching a lot of Mighty Ducks. I just watched the show on Disney Plus. It was Mighty Ducks Game Changers and I'm gonna watch the Mighty Ducks movie. Yeah, I've never watched it before. I am just not a big Disney person. When I was growing up, I was way more of a PBS kid and a Nickelodeon kid and Disney was just not a thing. And I really didn't get into hockey until 2009 because a lot of my guy friends were into it and I was like, oh, okay, I'll watch it. And here we are. <laughs>
So I am gonna watch the Mighty Ducks. It's gonna be fun and I will film a writing vlog for you all to watch. So that is it, I guess, for my writing update. Leave some comments down below if you want me to talk about anything further in a writing vlog. I just thought I would update you a little bit on where I am and I'm excited to get back to my project. If you are working on anything at the moment, let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about it. If you do any like writing videos, I would love to watch them. I'm obsessed with watching that content. So if you want to promote yourself in the comments, definitely do. So that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching. And if you stay till the end, comment a notebook or a pen emoji so I know you stayed. Thank you for watching. I know this is very niche content, so it's not gonna get as many views as I would hope. These kind of videos are less content for me, but more of a document of where I am in my journey so that I can look back on them because I really love watching my writing vlogs. They help me motivate myself of uh, me being so excited to write my hockey book. I can't wait to get back into it. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.